When it comes to championship games, most plays that are seared into the memories of fans were made by scorers in the closing moments. The notion that the title winning momentum could have changed 15 minutes earlier by stopping a shot might seem hard to believe. But that's exactly what happened to Carl Heinz and Olympiakos Pireus in London in 2013. Also, unlike most big moments, his play in the middle of the third quarter began with a mistake. It was almost like a, almost like a desperation play, because if, if I remember correctly, I just turned over the ball. Um, you know, I think it was Vasily. He came off a pick and roll. Um, he tried to throw it back. And I was kind of something in our system that, you know, I was supposed to be there in the spot and I wasn't in the spot I was supposed to be. Um, and he threw it back and I kind of fumbled the ball. And I kind of wanted to make a difference because I was, you know, kind of upset at myself that I fumbled the ball. Olympiacos had erased an early 17-point deficit by then. But Real Madrid was poised to counter-attack when Nikola Mirotic broke away to turn Heinz's mistake into an easy layup. So it seemed. My first instinct was just to run his back as, you know, as fast as possible um, and, and, and try to, you know, at least contest the shot. But I just make it a turnover, so my only focus is to kind of get back and try to defend the basket. So I was just kind of just locked in and kind of almost like zoomed in um, on the target of the ball. What Heinz didn't know and what gave the play an extra layer of novelty was that his teammate Kostas Papanikolaou was running right beside him with the exact same idea. I didn't realize he was there. Until I seen the replay of the play, um, you know, a couple, you know, a couple of days or night, the night afterwards, I didn't even know he was with me. So. Heinz and Papa Nicolau converged at full speed as Mirotic looked to drop in the layup, but before the ball left his hand, Heinz smacked it away and landed out of bounds with a shocked Mirotic. Whether or not Papa Nicolau touched the ball too is unclear, even on replays. But at the moment, it certainly looked like an unheard of chase down block by two defenders at once. Yeah, I felt myself block it. <laughs> so, I mean, maybe he got a piece as well, but um, like I guess I mean, it was a great defensive play, but like I, 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 felt, I felt myself block it. But if he was to take credit too, I mean, he's my guy, so I'll, I'll allow him to share that. The block shot ricocheted off the backboard to AC Law, who ran the length of the court for a wide open layup in front of some stunned Madrid defenders. A lot of people say that we're watching the game after that play that it kind of like Real Madrid was kind of, you know, almost deflated after that, I guess you could almost say. Um, but like for us, for us, I mean, it was it was a big play at the time and I think it, you know, helped led, led us to the, you know, to, to the eventual win. And not just any win, Olympiacos that night celebrated just the second back-to-back -back EuroLeague title in more than two decades. It was in a championship game, a game that had a lot of meaning. Um, a, uh, a play that definitely defined uh, the game that we played. So, I mean, I think for me, I mean, it's probably the, you know, the biggest and probably the most important block um, that I had this far in my career. 